every year, the world builds over 80,000 wind turbines, each one a tower of steel and silence, rising into the clouds to harvest the invisible power of the wind. Yet at the center of every turbine lies a single masterpiece of metal, the main shaft, a steel giant that spins endlessly, transforming gusts into electricity. How is something born from fire able to endure storms, pressure, and time for decades without rest? Let's follow the journey of how man turns molten steel into the spinning heart of modern energy. Stay till the end. You won't want to miss how wind begins with fire. Makora, from raw to remarkable. The forged shaft, weighing over 50 tons, enters the machining hall, a cathedral of precision where every sound feels deliberate. The air is cool, filtered, and still. Overhead, cranes glide silently, lowering the glowing metal onto CNC lathes the size of small houses. Hydraulic clamps lock it in place. Then the cutting begins. Diamond-coated tools trace along its surface, shaving off mere microns at a time. The machine's rhythm is hypnotic, a low hum that vibrates through the concrete floor. Streams of coolant flow constantly, turning into mist as they touch the hot steel. Each groove, each bearing seat, is carved according to digital blueprints, accurate to one one thousandth of a millimeter. Engineers stand behind reinforced glass, monitoring live readouts. Laser interferometers map the shaft in real time while temperature sensors ensure expansion doesn't distort its geometry. Even the Earth's rotation and ambient heat are compensated for in calculations. By the end, the once rough steel has transformed into a masterpiece of symmetry, a surface so smooth it reflects light like water. The shaft's balance is absolute. When it spins at thousands of rotations, In the forging hall, the air hums with tension. A crane lowers the glowing ingot, the color of a dying sunset, beneath a 13,000-ton hydraulic press. The floor trembles as the first strike lands. Each blow flattens the metal, forcing its internal grains to realign. Voids collapse, impurities vanish. Under sheer violence, order takes shape. Veteran forgers rely not on sensors, but on instinct. Watching the glow, listening to the tone of impact, feeling the vibration beneath their boots. Slowly, the square block elongates, softening into a perfect cylinder. Forging is not just shaping steel, it's commanding chaos into harmony. Next, the hot cylinder moves beneath the piercing press, a mandrel, itself blazing orange, drives through the center with crushing force. The sound is like thunder made of iron. When the dust settles, the shaft now has a hollow core. This cavity isn't weakness, it's balance. It lightens the structure and distributes stress evenly. From mass to movement, this is how strength learns to breathe. Every shaft must prove its worth. First, ultrasonic waves probe deep within, hunting for hidden cracks. Then, magnetic particle tests reveal flaws too small for humans. Finally, X-rays expose its crystalline structure, the invisible blueprint of its soul. All data is logged and archived like a genetic record. If one anomaly appears, the shaft, worth up to $80,000, is scrapped immediately. Because in the world of renewable energy, failure is not an option.
comes the most dramatic stage, heat treatment. The forged shaft is slid into a furnace the size of a train car, glowing at 900 degrees. Hours later, when the color turns orange-yellow, it's ready. Then comes the plunge. The entire shaft is submerged into a vast oil bath. Steam explodes skyward. The ground shakes. The air smells of heat and carbon. This sudden cooling, called quenching, hardens the steel to incredible strength. But it's not finished yet. The shaft is reheated and tempered to regain flexibility, balancing power with resilience. When it emerges, it carries both fury and patience, a metal that remembers fire but lives for endurance. The forged shaft, weighing over 50 tons, enters the machining hall, a cathedral of precision where every sound feels deliberate. The air is cool, filtered, and still. Overhead, cranes glide silently, lowering the glowing metal onto CNC lathes the size of small houses. Hydraulic clamps lock it in place. Then the cutting begins. Diamond-coated tools trace along its surface, shaving off mere microns at a time. The machine's rhythm is hypnotic, a low hum that vibrates through the concrete floor. Streams of coolant flow constantly, turning into mist as they touch the hot steel. Each groove, each bearing seat, is carved according to digital blueprints, accurate to one one-thousandth of a millimeter. Engineers stand behind reinforced glass, monitoring live readouts. Laser interferometers map the shaft in real time, while temperature sensors ensure expansion it doesn't distort its geometry. Even the Earth's rotation and ambient heat are compensated for in calculations. By the end, the once rough steel has transformed into a masterpiece of symmetry. A surface so smooth it reflects light like water. The shaft's balance is absolute. When it spins at thousands of rotations per minute inside a wind turbine, it will not tremble, not falter. Perfection here isn't art, it's endurance forged by precision. Every shaft must prove its worth. First, ultrasonic waves probe deep within, hunting for hidden cracks. Then, magnetic particle tests reveal flaws too small for human eyes. Finally, X-rays expose its crystalline structure the invisible blueprint of its soul. All data is logged and archived like a genetic record. If one anomaly appears, the shaft, worth up to $80,000, is scrapped immediately. Because in the world of renewable energy, failure is not an option. Approved shafts are sandblasted clean and coated in multi-layer anti-corrosion paints. For offshore turbines, the coatings must resist decades of salt, wind, and humidity. In the assembly hall, technicians fit massive bearings with precision torque. Bolts the size of arms are tightened one by one. Hydraulic wrenches click with the rhythm of discipline, most workers here earn between $4,000 and $7,000 a month, but their true reward isn't money, it's legacy. Each turn of the turbine carries the touch of the people who built it. The finished shaft gleams like liquid silver, every curve and contour reflecting the workshop lights. Its surface is cold, flawless, and alive with purpose. Giant overhead cranes, moving with surprising grace, lift the 20-meter steel giant onto a heavy transporter built specifically for this task. The entire operation is a choreography of precision. 
straps tighten, sensors confirm balance, and the vehicle begins its slow journey toward the harbor. Each shaft costs around $70,000 to produce, but its value multiplies over time. Once assembled into a turbine, it will help generate millions of dollars in clean electricity, powering thousands of homes. It is the unseen heart of renewable energy, designed not for display, but endurance. At wind farms in Denmark, Texas, or coastal Vietnam, these shafts connect the spinning blades to the generator. Inside sealed housings, they face salt, sand, and sub-zero temperatures, yet continue turning with unwavering rhythm. Technicians rarely see them again after installation. Hidden behind layers of steel and fiberglass, they work in silence, day and night. Converting chaos of wind into steady current. For 20, 30, even 40 years, they spin without complaint, unseen but indispensable. When you stand beneath the turbine and feel the ground hum softly, that vibration is its heartbeat. The echo of this shaft's strength, the pulse of invisible motion that powers our modern world. When a turbine retires after 25 years, the shaft returns to the foundry. It's melted down, purified, and reborn as something new. Maybe another shaft, maybe a ship's propeller, maybe the spine of a future machine. Steel never truly dies. It changes form, carrying its history within every new shape. That is the beauty of metallurgy, eternal transformation. From dust to fire, from motion to rest, the journey never ends. It's the perfect circle, the poetry of industry. High above the earth, where the wind screams and clouds drift like ghosts, the turbine turns. Its blades carve the sky, its tower hums with power, and at its core, a silent heart of steel keeps spinning. It asks for no praise, no spotlight, yet without it, the world would fall still. From fire came motion, from human hands came the wind itself. And this is just one story of how our world is built, piece by piece, flame by flame. If this journey moved you, leave a comment, hit like, and subscribe to Makora. Because the next story will take you deeper, where metal breathes and machines are born.